Thank you, thank you. All right. Well, this is exciting. It's the first time we're doing this. I really, very much appreciate uh, you guys coming out. And Tom Nielsen, where are you? Thank you so much for uh, inviting and organizing uh, this thing. So very much appreciate it. So, uh, my name is Ron Bessens. I work for Magic League. I'm the tech leader of Opening Star for Magic League, for Magic League the runtime. And here at, in the working group, I am the chair. Um, so, that means for the last week, I've been trying to guide this group towards a beautiful API. And it's on its way. It's already there. So, this is a group. Sorry. Um, the working group consists of about 26 companies, almost 500 engineers, and all, all the time here. Um, like when we, when we meet, it's about 40 people that get together. And we do several meetings a week, so it's a very active group. Um, we are, in fact, the, the second largest group within Kronos, often being the first. Um, and we have um, various forums, discords, and GitHubs that can take input from the public. If you find a bug, if you find an issue, if you're like, why are they doing it this way? Maybe they should do this. There's all these ways to reach out to us. And I'll put a QR code there with a link to the website where you can find these things. So we do want your input. And that's why we're here. A um, little bit about the roadmap. You, you may or may not know this. Um, the opening, opening Star stand, uh, standard was announced in 2017. And in 2019, it was launched, 1.0 was launched. From there on, there was a, um, a lot of work done on getting uh, all the conformity implementations out there, around the uh, headsets and all that. And this year, we launched OpenXR 1.1. And we are now working towards the the, the next version, which may or may not come out next year, that will all kind of depend how we can land the various improvements that we're working on. Now, what we are working on for next year is a thing called spatial entities with mixed reality. It will be really important for the industry. So we'll be able to detect meshes and planes and objects and anchors and all that good stuff. Standard, if you look at API right now, there's a lot of vendor extensions for that. And we feel your pain. So we are standardizing into a shared vendor extension that will be supported by the, the, the big engines so that we can ease this pain once and for all. So that's coming. And then on a much longer horizon, maybe not much longer, <laughs> it all depends on how this stuff goes, but on a longer horizon than that, we are working towards a, a multi-app standard. So currently OpenXR is a single app kind of a, a Environment takes over your whole world when you're in, in, in VR. With multi app, you'll be able to have multiple applications in your world and support it on an API. So that's what we're working towards on the longer term. So that's kind of the, the, the two big things that are going on at the moment. Um, I forgot to mention hand interaction and hand tracking. That is being promoted to KHR on track to go to core as soon as we do the next minor revision. So it's broad industry support now, so we feel comfortable that we can go ahead and land that. Um, OpenXR 1.1, uh, for you that may or may not have seen it, uh, 13 new interaction profiles. Uh, for example, the Magic Leap hand tracker, uh, the, hand, hand, uh, sorry, the Magic Leap controller extension has gone to core. So when you want to use that, for example, you no longer need to enable it. Just enabling OpenXR 1.1 will be enough. So. Again, we're trying to push towards core so that your life is easier. Um, the same thing for local floor, um, foveated rendering, and grip surface, actual UID, and actual loaded spaces. So it is, it is a focus of us that we want to get stuff in the core. We understand that all these vendor extensions are great, give a lot of functionality, but it hurts on the developer side. So, Standardization is what we're after. Um, to express that in the graph, <laughs> the yellow line is all the vendor extensions that we've released since inception of the standard. It's necessary to do this because all of us are experimenting with these new features with things that haven't been done before, and we need to come, uh, as an industry, come together. 
And that means that that line needs to happen before we can bring that line down and start getting those lines that are suspiciously horizontal along the bottom. That's not great. That's the core stuff. We want that to go up. And that is now a, a big, big focus of ours. We've now experimented with a lot of these extensions. The industry now knows how it, how it can be done. And now we're coming together so that we can start bringing this line down. And that first kink that you see there is OpenXR 1.1, where we start getting rid of some vendor extensions and getting them in the core. So that is a big, big focus. Conformant products. Um, so since the release, we've had 35 conformant products, and that's pretty exciting, right? That's, that's, uh, that's a good amount of uh, conformant products. Um, there's probably more that are OpenXR compatible, but not conformant. Anyway, I'll leave that with <laughs> you. Um, so lots of OpenXR conformant products and more on the way. Uh, then the work we are working on right now, which is, so we just had a week of opening some face-to-face, which is the, the Kronos uh, way of getting all the companies together. We sat in this room here, was split in two, and we bickered for a week on all those yellow line extensions. How can we come down to one EXT for special entities? And, and we're actually making good progress. Uh, so a big shout out to Kronos for hosting these things and making this kind of stuff possible. Um, it, it is quite uh, amazing how companies that are basically competing in this market can put that aside and actually come together and bring up these standards for the best of the industry. So I, I, I do appreciate this, uh, this whole ecosystem. It, it's, it's awesome. So anyway, spatial entities. What we're trying to do is that plane tracking Market tracking, so think QR codes, local codes, that kind of stuff, uh, spatial anchors, and a raycast extension uh, into an EXT framework. And this is the first pass. There's more, many more things, object tracking, and all that kind of stuff that will follow on. But this is the laying the foundation of a common framework, an entity component system that allows us to query what's in your environment, giving you all the planes in, in, the, you know, in the sphere of 10 meters around. And they'll be returned, uh, or you can use a cross term. You know, you, there's, there are different ways you can query this um, or place anchors and no longer need to deal with the, you know, all the extensions that the yellow line that we saw and have to deal with the Majesty version of it and the Quest version of it. No, it's just a Kronos EXT version uh, of it. That, if it proves out to be a good extension, we will take the core as well down the road. So we're really proud of this work. Um, it is a lot of work, but it's coming. Hopefully next year. Woo! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Andy. It'll, it'll be out. Um, I am not a very wordy wizard. I am the chair. I'm supposed to be there to um, help the, the members talk and, and fight it out. So I'll just take questions and uh, hopefully I can answer some of them. We have time around to take like maybe uh, one or two questions. Yes, someone on the right. I'll give the mic. Yes. Quick question. Can you name yourself and then go for the question? Uh, Larry James. Um, and quick question about the ETA on the uh, that other apps. We had a timeline. We had a question mark. I mean, a soft ETA. Which apps? I'm sorry. Yeah, include, include include other apps in the. Yeah, I mean, OVR. Yeah. Oh, multi app. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes. Uh, that is a very tough one. That is, uh, I, I don't think I can set any timeline on that at this point. I, I wouldn't expect it next year. That's probably as good as I can do on that. Do we have another one? Another question for um, Yes. Um, I'll bring you the mic. Okay. With uh, spatial entities bringing um, like spatial anchor support, I guess what vendors are uh, kind of supporting this? So like Google Cloud anchors and like um, I know like Azure spatial anchors is like being deprecated. So who's uh, like who are the what are the options? I guess <laughs> that is a good question. I am not sure since I don't want to speak for the other members. Um, so that's a tricky one to answer. 
let's put it this way. All the big players, if you look at the listing of companies that are you know, involved, are playing ball here. And I, I'm actually really happy to share that this is happening because this is a really good sign for the ecosystem that we're coming together and doing this. So expect broad support. That's, that's the plan that I'm driving to with the group. And I think we're going to get there with this one. All right, thank you. Um, so big round of applause for Ron Bessams. Thank you very much. Thank you.